Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and today I'm reviewing the Dreo air conditioner. It's the best portable air conditioner I've seen on the market yet, and let me tell you why. I've tested it with a nanometer. It would be hard for you to see how cool my room got without me proving it to you. In my house, the sun beats at the front of my house all morning long, and the interior of my house gets so hot. Summertime's coming, but where I live, it's hot a lot of the time. And for some reason, this room gets especially hot. So I like to set my Dreo air conditioner on 76 degrees, and here I am in front of it to show you the power of that wind. And all of that air is gonna flow at a very fast pace at 14 miles an hour to cool down my hot room. That high ceiling of mine with the beams just seems to collect all the heat of my house. It all floats into this room. But in the summertime, I sure don't wanna do it when this room is like an oven. And this powerful wind is so great, so cool. I love the feeling of it, especially blowing through my hair like a cool breeze. Let me prove to you what's been going on with my enamel meter. This was an especially hot day, so it was a perfect day to prove to you. So I put this right over my drill portable air conditioner. It's a really hot day. It's 94 degrees in my house. I'm going to turn on my Dreo and get it going to cool down this room. This digital anemometer is reading now the wind velocity. The wind velocity is at 13 miles an hour. I've got my room temperature set for 76 degrees and quickly we see that the room right here is getting a lot cooler. It's going down about a degree a second. And in about three minutes, it came down to 76 degrees. Check this out, two, one, zero, 76. And that matches what I've set the room for. This is the Dreo Inverter Portable Air Conditioner. The panel on top has manual buttons. The power, the sleep, the fan, the increase, the plus, the minus, the lower. It has a mode, a timer, and a swing function. And the remote as well can do all of that. And the fan can go auto, low, medium, or high. On the power goes, and it's set at 76 degrees. To lower the temperature, I can just press the negative button. It will go as low as 60 degrees. That's cold. The mode will display the current mode. Right now it's an auto. I'm gonna put it down to cool. The mode can also go to a dry function. If you live in a humid climate, you wanna use it on the dry mode because that's gonna take the moisture from the air, it dehumidifies the air and puts it into the bucket on the back. So when you use it in the dry mode, make sure you keep your windows and doors closed for the best dehumidifying effect. And if you choose the fan mode, it's just going to be a fan without any cooling effects. So when you have it set to air conditioner, the fan is going to go high in the auto setting until it creates the temperature you're looking for. And so when it's just on fan, you can adjust your speed. This is low. This is medium. And this is high. We see the temperature is going up. I'm going to put it back onto cool mode because I want it really cold. It was hot. You can set a timer from 0 to 24 hours just in case you're going to go out and leave the house an hour. You don't want to forget to turn it off. It'll turn itself off or if you're going to go to sleep. It has a great LED display so you can see what's going on. And the Dreo air purifier has got some swing to it in swing mode. So it'll swing up and down to let that air flow through your room. You can direct it lower and then higher automatically. That's cool. And the Dreo remote control does the same things I just did on the top manually, but Dreo has thought to put a special iSense feature on the remote control. You point it to the air conditioner and you press a set button, and then you press OK. When the iSense is enabled, the remote control serves as a remote thermostat. That allows for precise temperature control at its location. And that really makes sense because of course the air around the air conditioner is gonna be cooler because the air conditioner is right here. But by placing this, like let's say far away in my dining room or my kitchen and having it set to the temperature I want, it's gonna keep going until the place where this remote control is gets to that temperature. That's brilliant. The Dreo air conditioner cools my room down so fast. 
I just turn it on and I can just hang out and be really comfortable in my home. Summertime's coming and the temperature's gonna get hotter and hotter every day. So any room you want, it'll comfortably fit, even in small spaces like my living room. So let me tell you how the air conditioner arrives to your house. The Dreo air conditioner arrived right to my door after I ordered it online. So I put it on my kitchen floor so I could show you what the box looked like. So I opened up the box and I started taking it out of the box so I can show you how well it was packed so it wouldn't get damaged during shipping. These are all the pieces that came with it. In this shot, they're all wrapped in plastic so you can see exactly how you're gonna get yours. And so I thought it was best just to lay them out on my kitchen floor so you can see it all. There's the big vent. There's the things that go in your window. It has carry handles on the side to make it easy to move around. And underneath there are casters. I wanted to show you those. That means it's going to move easily along the bottom of any floor so you can control how it's pointed and move it around easy. On the back of it you can see the air inlet and there's the drain outlet right there. That's what that round circle is in the back of the unit. That's the drain outlet. If you live in a humid climate you're going to attach the drain piece to that so you can have it drained. So there's a hose that attaches to the top drain outlet and that's where you would put a bucket underneath it just in case you're going to have water collect from your high humidity of where you live. And the bottom of it has a backup drain outlet in case you don't get it all with the top drain. It has a very heavy duty power cord that fits into any normal household three prong outlet. And there's also a switch in case you have too many electrical items plugged in and it might trip a fuse. It'll trip there first, which saves you time and energy of having to go find your fuse box. The remote control takes two AA batteries, and it even comes with the batteries. That was handy. And the panels are to fit your windows, horizontal or vertical. They have thought to give you everything, so this Dreo inverter portable air conditioner will fit almost any window in any house. So I put my air conditioner on a flat floor close to my window. You need to leave about 20 inches around space on all sides for proper ventilation. And it comes with a great user manual. And in there are really simple instructions of how to attach it into any window. So you gotta prepare your window panel and you gotta measure the size of your window length and use your window extension panel if you need it. There are plastic pegs, they just pop in. It's really easy to do. And here's the process I'm showing you right now on the video. Mine's a vertical up and down window, but some people might want this horizontally, depending how your window opens and closes. There's an oval piece that's called the hung window adapter, and that goes right into the vent hose. A little screw goes in there too, to join them together. So I'm assembling that sliding window adapter and I'm fastening it with a screw, and then I'm snapping it into the vent hose. And if your house is really in a hot area, and you really want to be sure that no air can seep through that window, then put the adhesive foam seal onto the window. This window here is in my bedroom. Now, there's no way I can sleep in the middle of summer in this room unless I have an air conditioner. And that's why I'm so thrilled to have the Dreo Inverter Portable Air Conditioner to be in my bedroom. That wall to my bedroom is southern facing. It gets so much heat every day just baking into that room. That bedroom is the hottest room in my house. So that window needs that foam adhesive seal on it. For extra security, you could have added a security bracket, but this window was two floors up. There's nobody going through that window. So for the height, your window needs to be between four to 47 inches and mine fit perfectly within that range for both of my windows. But if you have a window that you have to pull up to open, it can be from 26.8 inches wide to 49 inches. That'll fit at the bottom of your window. I really like the way it looks in my bedroom. It's a clean design. I love the portability of this inverter portable air conditioner. It rolls around on the casters so easily. I love having one in my bedroom and I also love one in my living room. It's so portable, you could move it from room to room, but I really love using it for all of summer in these two rooms I chose for my house. Click the link to get your Dreo Inverter Portable Air Conditioner. I love mine. I think they're the best on the market and the highest of new technology for today, 2022. I'm Rebecca Brand. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified of my next video. And let's keep making great recipes in life. And today's recipe is for a life that's cool <laughs> with my new air conditioner. Woohoo! <laughs>
let's chill her down. And if you like this video, here's a whole playlist of great Dreo appliances right over there and also some great recipes I hope you might try. Bye now.